Howdy folks, today in No Man's Sky we'll be continuing the search for the best way to find crashed ships. Just as event goes off, right on the Nautilin, that's rude. The first video we did on this, we tested the Minotaur and its function for scanning for different crashed ships and freighters. And it turned out pretty badly, so it is certainly not going to be the best method for doing it. For the second test, we'll be looking at the Nautilus function to be able to search directly for drowned ships, which are basically just crashed ships that are underwater. This completely takes out the possibility of having someone next to the ship, like an NPC that basically wants us to do a little fix-up of their crashed ship before they can get on their way, and that, that basically means that we can't get that crashed ship. Now, this is actually not the first time I've done this. I did record quite a bit uh, before, and... Uh, yeah, it's basically all my video got corrupted. So uh, we're going to go at it now with everything I've learned in that first bit. So just to quickly go over those. First of all, when doing this, you need to do it out in the ocean, like preferably deep ocean, not where there's lots of land nearby. So not on the shore of like a massive landmass. Basically, the further out, the better, because the Nautilus scanner range has a maximum range and it's not as wide as you might think. Everything everyone have found so far has been around 8 minutes away, roughly. That speed within the Nautilus itself, which I've then flown to in my ship because that's just way quicker, and then looked for and then scanned again. Also, once you find one, you can scan for another while at that site. Once you get to the second one, it will tell you the nearest one to it. So there's a good chance that's going to be the first one that you went to. So after two and maybe three if you're lucky, and the next one is actually slightly closer than the previous one, you'll need to go up in space and just move, basically move about two minutes by ship or more away from both of the other crashed ships that you've seen, which will then just give you another area to scan for. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing, and uh, we're going to do this for a little while and see how successful it is. The first test we did for an hour, so uh, I guess let's see how many crashed ships we find in this method in an hour. And uh, should be actually decent because we've uh, already learned a fair bit. So the first step is to get in your Nautilus and scan. We found a crashed ship nearby. And it's over there. Six minutes and two seconds away by Nautilus. So if we get in our ship, because even with the vast open oceans on these planets, there's always some little islands nearby. So you can pretty much always fly to these. There are the rare occasions where there's quite a large area without any islands, but... Uh, that is quite rare. Ooh, that was a close one. Crazy NPCs. Coming up to this one, there's a nice little island here that we can uh, land on. You'll want to make sure you have a summoning station or the thing in your freighter and have your freighter here. Uh, I do have my freighter, but just because I like it being low atmosphere. Yeah, it's cute. Uh, we can then summon the uh, Nautilus to us, just wherever we are on the planet. Or in the system, really. I uh, did before doing starting this video, I did uh, tech up my Nautilus a bit. I didn't do anything with the Tethys beam because I'm not going to be using it. I only got the cannon because I found a station while trying to get the engine that had the cannon upgrades. So uh, all I really wanted for this was engine and uh, that, but I still just put all the tech in just because why not? So this first one is an explorer. So let's uh, pop down and have a look-see. I'm hoping that we'll find an S-Class at some point in this little test. Now it's B-Class, uh, Medium Explorer, so uh, we won't be going for that. The next one will hopefully be a bit better. So if we just get, while we're at this site and next to it, so that it doesn't just give us this one, we'll scan for the next one. And that one is 7 minutes and 35 seconds away that way, so we'll go back to the ship and uh, fly over there, apparently crashing into everything we see without any leaks. If you're curious what planet I'm on, I'm on Sinon, which is the capital of, well, one of the two capitals of the UAS, uh, Zane's World Civ here. If you want more information on that, just check the pinned comment. There'll be a link to the webpage for the UAS with lots of addresses to uh, the key locations the key official systems, like the uh, ones with theme builds and stuff, and the farming systems. We are based in Euclid, and uh, yeah, I'd recommend you drop on by and maybe 
join us in our discovery of our four small regions of space. And here's number two. I didn't even bother calling the Nordlane in because I managed to get so much uh, speed uh, doing the melee boost that uh, it carried me here. So this is the second one. It's a, a fighter. Uh, looks like max max uh, size fighter. And yeah, it's got 32 slots. Uh, B class again, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, cool, uh, cool little ship, but uh, not what we're looking for really. Let's call the Nautland back and get back to our ship and, well, scan for another one first. So now, as we're on the second one, this is where we could hit the previous one. And yes, uh, that is the previous one, um, mainly just because I made a note of what direction we were going from that to this and we went just west of north to get here and that is just the east of south so uh, that is trying to send us back to the same one so we'll get in our ship fly a little bit just like a minute a minute north I guess and then uh, see if we can find another spot to uh, scan at. Speed wise though this actually seems pretty good it's only been about four minutes since we started this and we've already got two so we are in a fairly land dense area but you never know worth a quick little check so call in the Nautilan and uh, see what we can do scanner ho oh it's still trying to send us back to the old one so are we gonna have to always get to it to be able to do it again if so then don't risk looking for a third really yes that's unfortunate we're going to have to get out go back to that first one to get the waypoint off then we'll have to treat it as in two at a time it's possible there's just not one in range so it's not replacing it but I don't really want to take that risk although actually let's test that so if we go to somewhere more open like over here and then scan again if it replaces it then we haven't really got to worry about that we just just need to make sure we're somewhere out in open sea where there will be a crashed, drowned ship. Right, so let's check this location. Did that give us anything? No. No, it didn't. Give it one more scan, then we'll change to one more location in open sea. And then if that doesn't work, we'll have to just assume that it doesn't replace it. Okay, no dice there. Still the old one. Right, so second... Uh, Location, well, third really to try and reset. Let's see how this goes. Scan a hoe? Nope. It's, I will scan a second time just to be sure, but it's not looking good. And no. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to assume that uh, it can't replace a, a pre existing waypoint. Once you've done one in one location, scan for the second one. Once you've done that, don't try and scan for a third. Just go to a new location on the planet. A little bit away and uh, scan from there so otherwise you'll just have to go to the first one again to get rid of that waypoint it's very annoying but it is what it is I'm actually going to quickly test to see if flying really close to the water over the top of it will get rid of the waypoint probably not because I think I have to be on ship nope it didn't get rid of it I think I have to be on foot anyway there we go done only took a minute so now I've got a good view of things just like smack bang like here in this area it seems good and uh, this is where kind of where we were before so it might be a good indicator of uh, confirming that there was something to replace if that function existed right let's give it a scan third ho yep it's found us one but where Oh, phew. Okay, good, good. It's given us one nearby. Uh, I did worry when it was in that direction that it was uh, trying to send us back, but it's actually not the right direction anyway. And here we are, coming in to number three. Ooh, and it's a hauler. So, I mean, it's ugly, but um, haulers are generally pretty good for the old moolah. Although that looks like it might be medium. I'm not sure. C-class and medium, yeah. But actually, that might be even small. It's only not worth, in my opinion, to claim to scrap, but uh, maybe a good uh, method for new new players. Anyone with established save will have a better method of making units and nanites and stuff, but uh, yeah. The C-class would be terrible for nanites anyway. 
Could be good for a bit of uh, quick cash at the start of a playthrough. So, let's scan for number four. Oh, it hasn't given us a location. Let's try it one more time. No, the, so there isn't one within range of this one to scan for another. So, I guess we'll get back to the ship. If I can find it, there it is. Uh, so, we'll get back to the ship and then see if we can... Uh, we'll just move a little bit, basically, and scan again. Here seems as good a place as any. Right, scan, hopefully, it won't send us back to the other one. Oh, it's not finding anything. Let's just move a bit further out, I guess. See if that helps. Nope, nothing. And I don't want to go too far, because I haven't actually charged my ship thrusters, which is a terrible idea, because I couldn't get it to me if I hadn't. Yeah, it's not giving me anything here, so... I've only done three. It'd be suck to have to change planets here. Certainly would rule it out as a good method versus living ships. For those curious about what I mean by versus living ships, that's the going to be the third test. We'll be testing uh, a method using the void egg to search for living ships which will then give us crash sites because living ships spawn at crash sites. The same crash sites that you would find crash ships. Oh that is a cool little island. It's all floaty and stuff. So essentially, we'd scan with the void deck to find a living ship. We'd go there, maybe mark it, uh, then refuse the living ship. And uh, then we could, I mean, you could just actually just refuse it, save, reload, and it would probably not be a living ship there anymore. I don't know. We'll have to test that tomorrow, which uh, I'm looking forward to that test as well. But... This is certainly promising for a casual one, especially for those who are actually those who are actually uh, exploring underwater areas. So I must admit that the Abyss update added some really beautiful parts to this game. Let's call in the old Nautilus again. See if we get better look here. Huzzah! We found one. Um, hopefully it's not the one we came from before. And uh, let's fly to it with the ship. Nice, this one's really close to this island, which is pretty sweet. Okay, another hauler, cool. Oh, damn it, it looks like it might be the same one. Oh, no. Don't be C-class, don't be C-class. Yep, damn it, we ended up back at the same one. Grr. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I'm just not going far enough away each time and ended up getting just going back to this. If I'd paid more attention to uh, the direction I was going, really, based on where I'd just come from, it would have been better. So yeah, just move this way then I guess. Definitely definitely seems best to go into space because then you'll just move a lot further away but not too far where you'll have loads of locations to check on a planet. It seems there are far less drowned locations than there are standard ones on land. But they're easier to find so at least, you know, not including the void egg one. Right, Scanneroo. No ship. Well, testicles. I've charged my ship this time with the recharge thrusters, so I'm just going to go in a direction and then just scan every time it becomes available and see if that is better. So I've got a feeling the distance, like min and max distance from you that the ship will be in when you scan is actually a lot... It's a lot uh, smaller of an area than I was hoping, so in other words it will actually benefit you to just do this, as in you'll find more, I guess, I don't know. It certainly help doing this as well to have uh, your S-Class upgrades with really high top speed. Because while the acceleration is nice to have super high, if you're doing this, just going in a solid direction, top speed I imagine is far more important. Okay, yeah, I'm not getting anything. Um, so, one other thing that is certainly something to note about this is that it's not just the method for finding them it's also the planet you do it on it could just be that Sinon has a low count but it's possible that Londinium has more let's head to Londinium and uh, do the second half of the test there and see if that gives us better results for those wondering what Londinium is it is essentially the other capital of the UAS. We have twin capitals. Londinium, law-wise, would be the political side of the UAS. Whereas Sinon is the sort of cultural capital. 
Sinon is a beautiful red and gold lush and has a sort of East Asian theme, whereas Londinium is more of a sort of Western Gothic industrial type theme. And uh, Londinium is found in the White Sun system, which we've just arrived in, which is pretty swift. This system is, uh, as we've seen on opulent and such, the planet itself, Londinium, is a chromatic blue exotic world. Exotic weird, however you want to really call it. It's the only planet in the system. It's ringed and it's, it has the appearance of a lush. It looks like a blue lush, except it has no star bramble. Both of these capitals are actually stormless and non-extreme sentinels on uh, all difficulties, which is very rare. So let's pop out here, uh, somewhere around ocean-ish. You won't get a good view of what, how beautiful the planet is from going on these rocks and stuff. They never have uh, good grass and trees and such, but it's good for checking what we're checking now. Right, let's drop it down and fire it up. Oh, it had to go right to the bottom, didn't it? Right, scanner -uni. Huzzah! Found one immediately. Which is, yeah, it's around that mark. It's always It always seems to be between six and nine minutes away in your uh, in the Nordland. That's of course, I assume it takes into account upgrades. I don't know about that. For the Permanix on foot, of course, it'll always say the same. It's um, essentially four minutes equals uh, 1,000 U on foot. Right, let's fly over there and have a look. I'm hopeful for Londinium. One thing that would be really great is to find some kind of way to work out whether a planet has like a high spawn rate for crashed ships or drowned ships and so forth other than it having water okay got ourselves a pretty snazzy though asymmetrical ugh, explorer here and it's b-class but it's got a lot of slots so if you're in early game and you find this i suppose it would be uh, a decent little uh, scrapper job Let's just jump in here and see if we can scan for a second one. Okay, we've got ourselves a second one, and it's... Oh, this is the closest one so far i found, just under five minutes away. It's almost like it was meant to disprove my rule as soon as I said it. The bastard. Ooh, a nice little showing of the grass on Londinium here. Um, I've become a bit of a grass fiend uh, in the time I've been working with John. Oddly enough, the exact same model ship. That is strange. By the way, uh, a point, a note, um, important note, is that crash ships, the models you find in crash ships will always come from the 21 ships that are in the system. So they always come from that pool of ships. B-class, but again, loads of slots. So yeah, I'm not even going to think of scanning here because the other one this is only this is less than five minutes away from the other one which means that the chance of there being a closer one to that than the other one is very low and it would just almost certainly result in us having to go back to the other one to get the marker off so we're just going to go straight in the ship head up into the atmosphere and then uh, just head back down at a slightly different location Sadly, I can't really see much of the planet in this light. Um, I'll go there. That's far away from where we were. I think there's ocean there. Nautilin Ho! Right, time for a scan. Oh, that's not good. It's not fungus one. This seems to be acting similar to how the, the Minotaur acted. Where just after a couple of tries, the scanner just refuses to work whether things are in range or not. That could be what happened on Sinon. Uh, let's give it a test by uh, reloading. It's logged us in at night, which is odd, but is what happens generally, because it seems to pick it by random. And let's give it a scan. Nope, nothing scanning, so let's test it even more by I'm going to go to desktop, go out of the game fully, come back in and try again. 
Right, I'm back in the game after fully reloading. Let's see if this helps. No. So, either it's completely screwed up or there is just nothing near here. I'm going to go to another location and see if that uh, gives us better results. I'll go quite far away though because I don't want to accidentally go back to the original one. And I haven't really been paying attention to uh, the direction. So because I couldn't really see where I was going, I've gone over land. <laughs> Which is not going to be helpful. Right, come on, scan. Hey, he's giving us a ship. So it looks like it was just a location and there was nothing in range. So that one's 7 minutes and 25 away. It does really seem to be a small range where, that it can actually detect. Because the smallest one found is 4 minutes 58. And the farthest about 8 minutes and 40 or something. So surely that's cutting out a lot of potential. That's probably part of it to make it more rare to find. So I mean, thanks to the void eggs, we do know that there are so many more crashed ships on planets than we first thought. Or at least I first thought, anyway. I don't want to speak for everyone. But yeah, like many planets, there are hundreds. It's crazy. Oh, these rocks are cool. Also, we have ourselves another explorer. But what class are you, Mr. Explorer? Another asymmetrical... Ugh. Ah, another B class. Well, that's... meh. <laughs> I mean, if the crash ships are anything like the non-crash ships, then we're going to find 1 in 50 in this system that are S class, so... Could take us a while. And this isn't giving us another one, which either means it is buggy or there isn't one within its search range. So, let's uh, head back to the ship and scan just before we go in there. Nope, second scan gave nothing, so we just have to go to a different location. Scan ho! Right, sweet, we've got another one, so where's that? Ooh, that's oddly back in the location we just came from, so hope... <laughs> Roughly, actually, we might have come from that direction. But uh, hopefully that won't be what we've just come from. It's 8 minutes and 41 seconds away from the scan. Okay, what will it be? Will it be something cool or crap? Or nah, it's a shuttle. <laughs> but, what class is it? A class. So, yeah, it's, I mean, A class, but it's still a shuttle. So it's not really going to give you much of anything as far as units or nanites. So, we'll scan again from this location and be hopeful. We do not have another one. I mean, currently it seems like Londinium is similar to Sinon as far as its count. I mean, again, it's possible that every planet has the same potential for crash ship sites, but I'm pretty sure they don't. And of course, some just don't have them. All right, let's go for one more. Let's go to the other side of the planet as well for a uh, better view on where land and water is. Oh, there's a nice big vast ocean all lit up and such. Go smack bang in the middle. Ish. I mean, it does make sense that they would lower the scanning range because otherwise, if you're always guaranteed to find a new one like every 30 seconds or something, then it would be OP. But they would want to have a lot of them to increase the potential for random finds. So I suppose it is just a balance. Right, scanneroo. And we have one. We have a bite. Seven minutes that direction. And we found a small hauler. Now, this won't give an amazing amount of cap. This won't give an amazing amount of units. I nearly said caps then. Um, but if it's S-class... Nope, it's C-class, it's useless. Never mind. <laughs> if it's S-class, it will still give good nanites. But uh, right, from here, let's do one last scan. And we found another one, that's cool. Right, so... That one is 6.55 that way, so uh, let's head to the starship and uh, quickly fly there. And it's another shuttle, unfortunately, but uh, we'll still check it. 
A class, but it's a shuttle. So, right, in that case, my conclusions here. So, my conclusions here. This is a viable way to find crash ships, for sure. But I can't see it being better than what we'll be trying next, using the void eggs. But if you are going to do this, and this could certainly be done way earlier on, and you don't need to have saved 3,200 Quicksilver, so you could do this within an hour or so, instead of the minimum of eight days that you'll need to get the Quicksilver required with the void egg. But if you are going to do this, go to a planet that has lots of water, of course. Um, make sure you go to points in the water where there's not much land, so actually go out into the ocean. The, there's always going to be places to land, uh, so you can just land in your ship, get out, use a Nautilan. You'll want either a summoning station in the system or have your freighter in the system with the summoning room that was added in the recent ExoMech update, so you can just summon your Nautilan wherever. Also, scan with the Nautilan, but then use your ship to fly to location, because as I said, there's always going to be somewhere to land nearby. Also, it's going to be way quicker. It's like a difference between 8 minutes and 1 minute. The way the scanning seems to work seems to be that the Nautilan will have has a minimum and maximum range, which is normal. That's generally how all the other scans seem to work. But this seems to have a really short window between the min and max. So say on mine in particular or something, the minimum seems to be about just under five minutes from where I'm scanning from and then the maximum distance being around nine minutes or something. So maybe to be generous between four and nine minutes away from me. And if there's nothing in that within that area around the radius around me, then it won't find anything. More often than not, you'll scan for the first one when you're at the second one. So after you've done two, don't bother scanning again, just go to a different location because to get rid of the waypoint, you're going to have to go to that uh, waypoint to get rid of it. And that, my dudes, is about it. It went bloody night on me when I started doing the outro. At least I got some, uh, some nice torches, some nice lights on the Nordland. If you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing for more No Man's Sky content, guides, let's plays, live streams, and more. If you want to support the channel, we've got Patreon, YouTube memberships, as well as a Teespring merch store. With lots of comfy uh, stuff on there. We've got a Discord, we've got a website. And yeah, we've got loads of stuff. You should check it all out. You might like some of it. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, tune in next time for the what is likely to be the final test in this series. Just a quick note, if anyone has any tips and they think I did a terrible job of doing this and I missed some important ways to do that would have made it way better, then uh, please feel free to let me know down below and uh, I guess if there's a good enough reason to do a retest, I will. Have an awesome day, folks, and I'll see you next time.